Hello everybody. My name is Kifar Shafkat and you can call me KS and today I am back to talk about some extinct animals we all know as dinosaurs. Now this is a video part 2. Now okay first of all if you didn't saw my video part 1 what is a dinosaur now a dinosaur is a reptile slash bird that lived 64 million years ago yeah, but the actual scientific time that they lived is unknown and today we are going to talk about them so this is which dinosaur can kill a t-rex part 2 okay so if you didn't saw part 1 you should check it out it's quite a fun one I'm going to give a, a link to it in the description or you can just check it out. Okay, now let's go to our dinosaur, shall we? Okay, so the first animal in our today's episode that can kill a T-Rex is the Spinosaurus. Now, did you uh, understood something here? We have three theropods. We have the Giganotosaurus and the Utahraptor from our first, uh, first video uh, or first part and and we have the spinosaurus right now on our second part which means and three of them all three of them are theropods so yeah we have theropods okay okay so we have the spinosaurus now spinosaurus is huge in fact spinosaurus like polar bear is the world's largest modern carnivore or meat eating but in the entire world the biggest land meat eating or carnivore animal is the spinosaurus it is huge if you thought the giganotosaurus was huge i mean it is technically bigger than the t-rex if you thought the giga was huge uh, huge seriously the spino is humongous it's even bigger than the giga Seriously, if you was if you watch Jurassic Park three, which is I'm going to say the only Jurassic movie where the Spinosaurus actually appears, it might be a bit in your, uh, inaccurate. Like the like the T uh, like th this. Uh, of course, this is not the actual size of the T Rex in that movie, but this is the T Rex and this is the Spinosaurus. Like that is not accurate. This is the T Rex and this is the, the Spinosaurus in real life. And this is not just the sail. The sail should be that much. It's the head. Spinosaurus are huge. Okay, one thing though that Spinosaurus, I, I mean, Spinosaurus have a lot of advantage like better claws, I mean, of course, better hands and claws. Now, every Spinosaurus, like Baryonyx, Tukamimus, Irritator, all of those have huge thumb claws, which they use for catching fish. I mean, Bary, technically, Baryonyx has the biggest, but Spinosaurus, wow, even that thing has a Ooh. Okay, so what does that mean? If the Spinosaur literally slashes with its thumb claw, the T-Rex is down! Okay, I might be over exaggerating because the T-Rex would kind of survive that. But seriously though, wow! It's going to be a huge amount of damage. And it's not just once, it's just one, two, three, like, it depends on its mood. If it wants to slash or wants to bite. If it, if it wants to do both. Okay, then we go next to bite. Now, this is a disadvantage of the Spinosaur. I know the Spinosaur has a good bite. Mainly it has uh, sharp teeth uh, for catching fish. It has claws and teeth equipped for catching fish. And uh, uh, teeth and... Uh, Claws or, or, uh, ca for catching fish need to be sharp because fishes are slippery and they need to catch them. So they have sharp teeth. But the problem is bite force. I mean, literally, the T Rex has the hardest bite force of any creature on earth. Not just land or anything like that. Any creature uh, on earth. They have a bite force of uh, like five tons. Think of that on you. Oh, I would hate that. I would have that like seriously five tons yeah so that's a disadvantage on the spinosaur one thing though i yeah okay one thing from the part one i didn't mention is 
uh, when we talked about the Utah Raptor and the T-Rex. Now, uh, I know I'm going to the part one, but uh, one thing, when I was talking about the Utah Raptor, one of the creatures that can kill a T-Rex, I forgot to mention that both of them actually lived at the same area, literally. They lived at the same area. Like, both of them lived in, t uh, like, um, uh, you know, America. I mean, uh, okay, Utah Raptor does mainly is mainly found in Utah, but there's other places you can find them. Uh, so, th an interaction between a Utah Raptor and a TX is not rare. So, you know, yeah. Okay, let's go back to part two. <laughs> you know what I mean, which means this part. Okay, of course, we have done the Spinosaurus. Next species. Uh, I just like seriously I love it sauropods you know those long neck dinosaurs yeah now you might be asking well they can't bite they don't have horns anything like that if you thought that they couldn't do nothing uh, like like if you thought that they uh, have nothing to kill the T-Rex you cannot get any more wrong. Like seriously, they. I, I'm going to just talk about the Brachiosaurus. You know what I mean? Okay. Now the Bra uh, Brachiosaurus is where it is the actual game. Of course, we are going to talk about the Brachiosaurus. Uh, I mean, I could have just talked about the Argentinosaurus. Like literally, it was huge. But you know, we are just going to talk about the Brachiosaurus. Now the Brachiosaurus had a weight of. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. Max weight twenty-eight tons. If you thought twenty-eight kg, twenty-eight pounds, anything? No, twenty-eight tons. Seventy-five, seventy-seven thousand five hundred pounds. I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, no I need to do this thing, I can't get out, okay whatever, whatever, like seriously 28 tons, <laughs> what on earth, okay whatever, if a T-Rex gets under the front feet of any sort of body, uh, and uh, you know, uh, like, it's going to get turned into paper and I'm not even mentioning the Patago Titan I'm not even mentioning the Patago Titan that was the biggest dinosaur in the world so the Argentinosaurus was big Patago, Patago Titan like almost as big as a blue whale almost as big as a blue whale now think of that Yes. Wow. Wow. That's insane. Okay, now let's go to our, our last, last creature, which is the Stegosaur. Now you might be asking, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Stegosaur? No, that's not going to work. Uh, I mean, Stegosaurs, they will kind of do the job. I mean, if it's like an alone uh, stegosaur, by the way, if you didn't know, TX is actually, there is some proof that sometimes TXs could hunt in groups, which is something that other TXs like Tarbosaurus or Lithronex did. Yeah, Lithronex is literally the name of a t like a T-Rex, like seriously, what? Lithronex, that sounds weird. Okay, whatever, whatever. I'm not here to, I'm not here to judge them or their names okay whatever and uh, so T-Rex might hunt in groups so if it's a lone stegosaur even just a, a lone T-Rex could take it down but it's a if it's a herd of stegosaurs yeah the stegosaurs might have a chance of getting away actually mainly if it's like the actual stegosaur you know it could have just been Cantrosaurus or anything like that but if it's stegosaurus itself the king like the biggest of the stegosaurus yep yeah, seriously and it's, if it's a herd it's 
Yeah, it has a high chance of winning. Yeah, I mean, their sources. Okay, seriously, an ankylosaurus. Yeah, I mean, if I be real here, a stegosaurus could be a bit more powerful than a, like, a ankylosaurus could be powerful than a stegosaurus. I mean, the stegosaurus might be powerful than a pachycephalosaurus. I mean, yeah, seriously, I know the pachycephalosaurus has a huge amount of headbutt, but seriously though, uh, the stegosaurus might be better. Not as good as the triceratops or the ankylosaurus, or any of the meat eaters, you know, three uh, three of the meat eaters I just said. But seriously, the Stegosaur could do kind of well in a fight. No? Okay, so that's all of our dinosaurs. Talking about dinosaurs, one thing I got reminded of, uh, like, if you watch Jurassic Park, uh, you might have saw the visitor center scene where there's like, the theater and uh, which is where uh, they we and they learn how to make a dinosaur and then it was hosted by a uh, animated character called Mr. DNA and <laughs> he pronounced dinosaurs like dinosaurs and it's a huge meme I mean Jurassic Park is a huge success so that must have been a meme if it wasn't a meme Seriously though, but it's a huge meme. Dinosaurs. Every Jurassic Park fan must know of that line. Dinosaur. It's kind of funny though. Like pronunciation, kind of really funny actually. Okay, whatever, whatever. So that's enough for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So that's enough for today's video. Allah Hafiz and bye. Also, also, don't, uh, don't forget to check out my Facebook or the Instagram. Bye. I love this.